Good morning, you guys. I wanted to do a video before I went off to my occupation and something that I've really been thinking about. So I've talked in videos like really, really a long time ago about attachment. I've talked about attachment theory. I, I've been hearing over and over recently people who have been talking about the seven year, the first seven years of our life being like very, very significant. And it's, and, and, and I would agree, but I would say even more specifically, the first three. And in addition to the first three, <laughs> the times that we really can't remember, like most of us can't remember before the age of four, some of us five, you know, and then you have th three being some like weird cutoff, like maybe two and a half, you know, but certainly not in our infancy. <laughs> I mean, most of us. And I've been, I've specialized in this age group for 20 years. I've been working with children birth to five, but mostly children birth to three. In addition to that, I worked as an infant teacher. And I used to have people like a lot of the time say, well, what do you teach an infant? <laughs> what do you teach an infant? thought that was so interesting. I um, And I, I really enjoyed being an infant teacher. I was a teacher of four and a half babies. I always love to say that, like some days four, some days five. And I taught them so much. <laughs> and when they graduated to the toddler room, I was so proud of them. <laughs> I was proud of them. They were walking and talking and laughing and they were so well developed. Their motor development was just amazing. It was it was just something else. Then as I got older, I realized I had taken a lot of of trauma, trauma informed care um, uh, trainings. I've been trained and have followed different um, people that I really thought were very good in this area and it had a lot to do with attachment and if a child was able to attach to some caretaker even just one that what didn't even have to be a family member which is why when I was teaching teachers it's so significant the way that they talk to the children just talking to them you know it, it was so important and to talk to them in a way, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I had worked um, last summer very, very briefly. I only lasted a week in a childcare center where I live and in a three-year-old, two, three-year-old classroom. And these children could not hear you if you were not yelling. They would not, they would not even hear you. If you were not yelling and it had nothing to do with the sound in the in the classroom it had everything to do with that they had consistently been yelled yelled at everywhere they were so they didn't even know what to do with somebody that wasn't yelling at them. <laughs> anyway so then you know fast forward in our lives and I'm just gonna talk about mine because I mean I've been watching I've been very curious about human behavior my whole life. I don't know why. I just find it so interesting. Like, why do they do that? And I'm, and I'm analyzing and trying to figure it out. And so now I'm trying to figure out why am I doing what I'm doing? <laughs> so what ends up happening with us, you know, the first seven years of our life, the first three years of our life, even in infancy, is... When we behave a certain way, we're lovable. When we behave another way, we're not lovable. I mean, it's like I can actually feel it with my own children. Like when they're not doing what I want them to do, you know, one way or another. Um, and, and how to handle that. And I can even feel it well up in me. And I'm so honest about it. Oh my gosh, I am withholding my love. I'm withholding my love from my child because... I want them to do something else. They're not pleasing me. And so I'm going to withhold my love from them. <laughs> it's 
So in the last few years, I've decided not to do that. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do that. They can do, you know, and they're, they're, my children are nearly all grown. I do have a, a son that's a little bit younger, but my children are nearly, I'm grabbing my coffee. <laughs> my children are nearly all, all grown now. So, um, so I, I'm sitting here with myself that I've been, I've been trained through a process of, of punishments and alkalides, punishment, like add a girls, you know, <laughs> to be a certain way. And, and I've ended up spending a, an exorbitant amount of time alone. I, I was thinking about it this morning that I really, my whole life, have not had a lot of friends. I've had a lot of acquaintances, but I haven't had a lot of friends. And, and that hasn't been a problem for me. I, I'm really good with that because I, I tend to like really, really pour a lot of myself into my relationships, whoever it might be, like my children and my, my friends might. And so, and so if I'm going to be giving so much of a, of a, um, investment, then I really feel like I need to not have so many investments because I only have, you know, in all actuality, I only have so much, you know, to give, but so what's happening for me right now, what's been happening in the last few that I've been talking about in the last few videos, when I actually look at it, it has to do with, with me dipping my, my toes, toes into, you know, the water of, of a pool where I drowned and they had to resuscitate me. <laughs> That's how it went down. It, it was, um, I mean, the last, you know, actual love relationship I've had with a man, I, I, it just ended in utter disaster for me. Um, and so, and, you know, having nothing to do with him necessarily, I just, um, I had, I had really jumped in that one and, and, maybe panicked in it and drowned in the pool. And so now I'm trying to learn how to swim again. <laughs> and, and it's super, it's very, very interesting. Um, you know, so one of the ways that I, that I talk about this, like, or I think about this has to do with like even like a drug like you know being addicted to because I think that in some ways we are addicted to relationships we are addicted because chemically we get so much from them like especially like a love relationship where intimacy is involved and hugging and kissing and all these hormones that are coming from it and and so and so it's been like it's it's had this really great aspect and this really horrible aspect for me and and I've never had it be a healthy balance ever ever so <laughs> I'm trying to dip my toe in and I'm and uh and I'm bumping up against all these feelings and and the past and you know and so and trying to create a future and it, it just, there's just a lot going on inside of me and I'm really heavily triggered by by things like and flashbacks and um, and trying to you know this art and I just I guess it's just practice 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 and I have I'm at nine minutes and 25 seconds <laughs> I wanted to keep it under 10 minutes but anyway, I'll come back and talk more about this, but that was just sort of a rundown about what's been going on in my head regarding this topic of this aspect of my life that I really, really would like to enjoy. <laughs> and also, I'm not really sure how to create it the way I would like it to be. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll be back.